do you use Twitter as a way to reach out to your community and expand your brand, but every time you post a link into Twitter, it validates with the wrong information? I'm gonna show you how to fix that in this video coming up right now. Hey guys, Walt for Games coming at you from my stream support playlist where we bring broadcasters, streamers, and cameras the best tips and tricks that they need to help expand their brand. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. If you view Twitter, you've probably noticed when you put a link in there, sometimes it validates with the wrong information. Perhaps it's a days old or perhaps even weeks old. And that's because Twitter holds on to old information that it's actually cached. I'm going to show you how to actually fix that by taking it through a card validator so every time you do a live stream that you want to promote or reach out to your community, they know up to the minute what the actual title and content that you're going to provide for them. Let's go over to the computer. So here we have an example of what one of our cards would look like when we post it to Twitter, letting people know that we're live and currently broadcasting or streaming. But sometimes it won't contain the correct information that we currently just put in because Twitter will cache the old information and display that. So what we need to do is show the current information of what we're currently streaming. So to do that, let's go over to our Twitch and we're gonna go over to our dashboard here and we're gonna make a new update. So instead of team play, we're gonna change it to uh, test for YouTube. And to make all these different changes, we're just gonna change this to creative to make it nice and easy. If we can get it to show up, there we go. And we're gonna update this information. So now we got it say test for YouTube and it's to the creative category. And all we need to do here is grab our URL. So we just grab this part right here and we're gonna throw this into our validator. Now I'll put this link in the description below, but this will validate the card with the most current information to display properly on Twitter. So just go ahead and paste this in here and click preview card. And there it's going to display all the correct information. So this is what our card's going to look like. And here you can see it's got tests for YouTube. And you can see how fast this will work because we'll make another change over here. Let's go for best streamer with best hair and click update and it updates right there. And all we need to do again is just grab our URL that has just got new information in it and take it through our card validator. And again, post it in, or paste it in there and click preview. And now this is gonna display, oh, it did not. If you made any additional changes to your card and need to revalidate, you actually have to close the browser window completely and reopen it. Just paste in your URL in here and hit preview card again. Here it'll generate the brand new card with the correct stream title again. Once you know that you're ready to post your stream, just go ahead and put it in a tweet and put in the card and you can hit tweet and it'll populate the correct corresponding card of what you just saw in the preview there. And there you go, you can see right there, it's got the correct corresponding card title that has been validated through our application. I hope you guys found this Twitter hack quite useful. It's been something that bothers me all the time when I'm on a live stream. So I was glad I was able to figure it out. And for an extra little bonus, there's a Facebook validation. I will put both links in the description below. Make sure to check it out. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a nice thumbs up. If you like videos like this, there's a couple over to the side that you might enjoy as well. Feel free to share this and follow me on all my social media below. I will see you guys in the next video next time. Take care. Peace.